Guys, I cannot believe I'm saying this, but Spidey's out of the MCU officially. Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's me, Shamoon React. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to see loads more reactions. And I've got so much shit on my channel. You just got, to, just go and check it out. Links in the bio. And if you really did like this video, thumbs up, please, because at the moment I'm getting no love. Cool, 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 cool. Quite a lot of love. I've been selling a few T-shirts. A few people have been wearing them and. <laughs> makes me really happy. So, if you want to check out the Shimin Reacts tea before it expires at the end of this month, go and buy yourself one. Alright, so enough of this prom promo and all that shit. Spider-Man has left the MCU! I just can't believe Sony actually went ahead with this. If you're not sure about what actually happened at first, so Sony and Disney were negotiating about a new deal with Spider-Man. There's those rumors just before Endgame saying he was gonna have a seven picture deal. So he would have three more films uh, set in college and three as like an adult Spider-Man. But that's obviously not happening. Spider-Man is now just heading back to Sony. And all that Disney was trying to do is Okay, I'm not on either side to be fair, but Disney just wanted more money for the films because they felt like Far From Home got a lot of credit, not only because of Endgame, but just all the Marvel Studios stuff. Marvel Studios really did such a great job of integrating Spider-Man into the MCU, so it's only fair for Disney to actually say that we will get more money for making the sales of Spider-Man films. But Sony weren't budging because they knew this was their top grossing film. It beat Skyfall. It's their most grossing film of all time gonna let spider-man go that web ain't coming off spider-man everyone was hoping there'd be no strings attached but you know sony just wanted the money they want the business they don't want to lose out on this mad deal so if they end up losing Spider-Man, then they're actually losing a, not a lot of, not just a lot of money, but a lot of attention. What annoys me most is Sony know the fans are gonna be real pissed about it. And Sony have failed in the past with Spider-Man, and now they're taking him back? The whole Venom thing, people are already curious, how is Tom Holland Spider-Man gonna work with Venom? Like, they're gonna really change things up, and in a way, if they change an actor, it would still be shit. But go, Tom Holland going back, you know, they might rechange Spider-Man once again. People are memeing this, and I'm annoyed because Spider-Man was so good in the MCU. Like, look at the relationship we had with Stark, the integration we had with characters. Deadpool's coming to the MCU. We'd see Deadpool come in. Might have interactions with the X-Men with Spidey. Just Spidey might have been the face of the Avengers. Like, it annoys me now because we're not going to have the opportunity. Plus, if you saw Far From Home. I'm guessing you did if you're watching it. You are missing out on the biggest cliffhanger. J. Jonah Jameson made an appearance at the end of Far From Home as well. But mostly, Spider-Man was revealed to the world. Peter Parker was revealed to the world. And now we want to see a follow-up. Even though Spider-Man is officially out, I feel like there's a spin to this. complete hope. Because James Gunn was sacked by Marvel. Or Disney. And they actually did it just for the cooldown. James Gunn gets reinstated for Guardians 3 and that was always the deal. They just reported it that he'd been sacked and after the call down, that was it. Still gonna be directing. On top of that, it was mainly the actors and the fans who pulled through and said, this is wrong, you need to get him back. But they probably had it planned all this time. Not only that, but I feel like Spidey has a few more years to have a film, so Within two or three years, you never know, this deal could just become redundant and we could see Spidey come back in the MCU. But of course it's annoying because we love his integration and what they've done with him. They've done a lot of different things and one of my friends who's a real low Spidey fan, he wasn't happy with the way he was constantly the said Tony's bitch. But I think that relationship really worked. It's better than seeing him watch Uncle Ben die again, like for the fifth time. So I'm glad they had that relationship with Stark and Stark taught him how to become Avenger. It's a very complex situation. It's a shame that Spidey's out now, but you know, I think Sony are happy because there's going to be a lot of stuff to do with Venom. 
and they've got a Morbius film coming up, but I don't really think anyone gives a shit about Morbius. I mean, he was cool in the cartoons, but I don't really care. You know, maybe Craven. we might even see Sinister Six happen. Well, we all wanted to see Sinister Six in the MCU. I guess that's what it is. Well, this is my rant over, but if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button if you want to see more content. I mean, down there. And like this video because the more likes, the more love. I'm Ben Shimin Reacts. Peace.